Okay, this week we're going to look at drawing some cylinders again, and we're going to draw, um, and we're going to be drawing parallel cylinders, just that means two next to each other. Um, so, what I want to do is I want to give myself a solid base, a frame that I can work with. So, here I go, I've got a, um, I'm going to draw. In two point perspective, a rectangular prism box shape, um, and I'm going to use that as the basis for um, two cylinders next to each other. Um, so let's do them in this direction. First of all, I'm going to divide, define some square shapes on the side and as we know if I put a circle inside a square it's going to be touching the middle of each tangent line. So the axis, the rotational axis of a cylinder is going to go straight back this way. Um, so if this is this, right, then if I divide this This way, All right? You can check that I've got the middle by diagon using the diagonal. That will give you your vertical position of this vertical. So it should be here. Um, and then you can do two things, and we're going to check. We'll use both of them. So I can just draw an ellipse in here and touch the middle of each one of these sides. Um, I can also draw an ellipse, a cylinder by defining my rotational axis that's going that way. And what's important in this is that you remember that these lines converge. The rotational axis on both these cylind cylinders, they're both parallel in reality, but that means they converge in perspective. So remember, fanning. Um, so now I've got these points, and I can use all those points to draw an ellipse. So touch the sides here, here, and then around. So that gives me two ellipses. Um, from there, basically what I can do is I'll just use these directional lines, remember perspective, and use your your, out, your basic shape that you've started with to guide these lines in the right direction. Um, so once I've got that, I can draw this line right through. Vertical line is a kind of a cross section which goes right through that cylinder to the back, touches there, this one goes right through to the back, and this one goes right through to the back here vertical line. I can divide that again this way, and I've got a vertical line here. Um, again, I've got a whole lot of references for my next ellipse, which should fit in there. Remember, it should be a bit rounder at the back, so I'm just going that way. I've been using a blue pencil here to set up my sketch. You can keep drawing with it. Um, but as you can see, it's broken, so I'm going to switch over to a fine liner now. Um, so let's darken these edges a little bit. You can see. Um, take that. Um, so you don't need to draw your whole ellipse in one go when you're darkening edges, just Draw a few sections, and then um, you know if you need to turn your page, which I do sometimes, just that's fine, just to get that nice straight long line. Um, okay, so I've got two cylinders um, now. I want to. We're going to be drawing. The assignment for this week is to draw um, binoculars. Um, so let's look at. 
connecting these in a way that will be useful to us. So um, remember, we've got these outside edges. Um, uh, we can, you know, it's really up to the design you decide, you want to work on, and obviously you want to draw. We're going to ideate. Um, that means it's drawing different versions and playing with the options. Yeah, so um, say we want to join these. Um, I'm gonna I'm connecting them here through that cross section, so I know that's the top. Um, I'm gonna divide this here, so I know where the middle is. And I want these um, binoculars to be able to be open, so I'll just build a little connecting line. Now, how this connects, well, what the best way to draw that would be draw very lightly another ellipse and just try to estimate along with that line, you'll get a, an idea of where that has to go. Um, so, what I'm going to need here, I think, is another kind of a pin cylinder. So, I'm going to just, just not worrying too much, it's just ideation, so let's just think how would this open I'm gonna worry about the construction but not too much here so connect that line through here and and that will go down let's see I need to turn my page again here just to get a nice line straight edge Okay, so give that a bit of texture. Um, and of course, now I've got this front edge. I want to, depends on what you want to do. Remember, last uh, we've done some uh, si single roundings. You could actually add single roundings out this way by drawing little um, half circles or quarter circles. Um, you'll need to have an edge here, of course. Um, so you could draw a little edge like this. Just building it up and connecting a few parts. Um, don't... Uh, yeah, try to keep it light. Um, and now if I want the lens inside, I can just I want to draw another very light ellipse here and here, finding how deep it, these are going to be, and then I'll just um, well, let's make sure this edge comes over, and now I can see that this edge is deeper, and I'll follow that around, and I'll make sure that this has the right that overlaps. Um, so, okay, so I'm getting my shape, building my shape in this way. Um, you can, you know, do different kinds of things at the back. If you want to lengthen it, of course, you would just lengthen it. You could draw smaller ellipses. But remember, building out of the... Um, Directional, let's just think about the distances and that your things are lining out. Um, in that way. Um, so, it's kind of quick sketching here, just for an ideation. Um, then, um, of course, if you want to get it a bit more clear, just draw your um, drop shadows. Um, this drop shadow is going to fall back this way. So it's going to fall in this space. I'm going to use your vertical lines here, your light direction, light angle. There's an ellipse in this space here. Um, once you've got the basic shape, uh, I'm going to have to move it back a bit because it's not going to be in front, then you can 
just continue that shape, you know, uh, that angle, and um, build the rest of your shadow that way. So, that way, wait, and that way. So I'll just color that in, and then I'm gonna stop. So it's this is really just about, you know, quick uh, recap of the theory about cylinders um, for you guys. So. Um, you should know this already. Um, and but anyway, this is a way you can approach this assignment. Um, I'm going to put some examples on um, the intranet um, of some radiation sketches so you can see them finished and this is basically just doing this um, with different kinds of shapes and then um, shading them um, look at the lenses as well if you want you don't have to create you know all sorts of nice reflections and stuff in the lenses but um, just have a look and see how you can if you can get a bit of a glass effect um, um, what have I got? I've got a dark blue here. I'll just put these a bit of blue. To give them a bit more. Okay. Um, uh, I'll put a little bit of um, grey, and then I'm going to um, stop here. Uh, let's see if we've got any grey in here. So the light's coming from this direction, so we're going to have a little bit of grey, maybe uh, this one's finished, on the top edge. And, um, and the highlights, the lightest bits, close to it there, and then I'll just put a little bit of shading this way and this way. Um, remember, we want to try and create a gradient, and I'll just get trying to core shadow just just next to that edge there, um, and then the same here. Okay, precision is important, especially in your perspective setups. But another thing that's important is also just, you know, putting some tempo, speed into your drawing, and just dare to just draw the lines and, and use your markers um, like you're sketching. No, keep sketching with your marker in. It's not all just colouring in. It's uh, sketching. Think about the light direction. Um, it's that way. And add a bit of shading considering that light direction. Okay, um, so I'll leave it there for now and um, Oh wait, uh, yeah that's good. Alright, I'll leave it there for now.